Audacity is one of the most popular recording programs out there. It's free, simple to use, and easy to install. It's available for Mac, Windows, and even Linux computer platforms, and it's used by voiceover artists all over the country. To download Audacity, just open your browser, and go to audacity.sourceforge.net slash download. That will bring you to the Audacity download page. As I mentioned, Audacity is available for multiple platforms, and this little box here lets you choose the one that you need. It's got options for Windows, Mac, or Linux. I'm a Mac user, so I'm going to choose the Mac option. And I'll click, and that takes me to the Mac download page. On the Mac download page, there are two things you need to know about. We have the links to download the Audacity program, and a link to some other plugins that work with the program. First, let's talk about the links to the program. We have two options, and it doesn't matter what you choose. One is a DMG file, which acts like an external hard drive or disk installation. On the Windows page, it'll say Audacity Installer, and it'll be an executable or .exe file. But I'm going to choose the zip file, because it's smaller, quicker to download, and because it'll usually download to computers that block DMG or .exe files for work or security reasons. I'll save it to my desktop so it's easy to find. Okay, it's downloaded. Now, let's revisit this plugins area. They're all useful, but there's one that's of particular interest, the lame MP3 encoder. It does just what the description says. It allows Audacity to export MP3 files. Why is this important? Well, I'm glad you asked. When you email your audition files to your agent, manager, casting director, producer, or whoever, you always want to send them as MP3 files. And you can't do that without this. So I'm going to click on this link, which takes me to a page with some info about the Lame Encoder. I'll click this link under the installer heading. And that takes me to the Lame download page. You'll choose the version that's right for your operating system. Here we have the executable and zip options for Windows. And if we go down a little further, we see the Mac options. Since the DMG on Mac and EXE on Windows versions and the zip versions install in different ways, I'm going to download both so we can go over each version's installation. Okay, so here are our files, Audacity Zip, the Lame Zip, and the Lame DMG. First, we're going to check out the Audacity program. I'll double-click the zip file to open it. We see this folder appear, and in this folder we have a program that is ready to go. I like to move the folder somewhere in my computer where it won't get accidentally deleted, like the Applications folder, but it'll work from anywhere. You can decide where to leave it. Just click this little icon to open it up. But before we open up this program, let's talk about installing the encoder. If you choose to download the DMG version, installation is very easy. You just double-click the icon, and your computer will mount the installer you'll see this little icon appear somewhere on your desktop, and this window will open. You want to double-click this icon, and your computer will start to install it. Your computer will tell you that you're about to install it. Click Continue. It 
it'll ask you where you want it. You may only have the Macintosh hard drive option, but even if you have other options, this is where you want it. Click Continue. It may ask for your password. That's fine. And there you go. You'll never have to think about it again. Now, if you chose to download the zip version, it's a little more complicated, but it's not too bad. First, we double-click the zip icon, just like before. We see the new folder appear. We open it. We see this thing here, which is the actual lame encoder. You can leave it where it is if you want, but I recommend that you drag it somewhere where it won't be accidentally deleted. I usually put it in my Documents folder, but anywhere is fine, as long as you remember where it is. Then we open the Audacity program. You'll see this little screen pop up whenever you open it up. It's a cool little thing with some links to tutorials and such. You can click this little box to shut it off for good, but I suggest leaving it on until you're totally familiar with the program. But it's up to you. For now, I'll click OK and get it out of the way. To show Audacity where the lame encoder is, you go up here to the menu bar and click Audacity. From the drop-down menu, choose Preferences. This window opens up, and from the menu on the side, click on Libraries. In this top section here, you have two options. Since we've downloaded the zip already, we can click Locate. If we hadn't grabbed it, we could click the second button, and Audacity would take us to the encoder web page. So we'll click Locate, and this window pops up. Click Browse, and in this pop-up, you'll navigate to where you save the folder. Open it, and select the lame library. We could click Open, and Audacity would remember where it is, and you wouldn't have to deal with it again. But in this case, I installed the library from the DMG already, so I'm just going to click Cancel. OK, that's it. You are now ready to start using Audacity. Thank you.